Ishmael, I've been trying to get you to choose a colour for over a month now. I'm here guitar. We're going to start painting your car in what, three days? The Lamborghini SD downstairs being taken apart. Today is the day you're going to pick a colour. So we're here, we're going to do a colour change on this Lamborghini Event Store SV. It's been a crazy month because the owner still hasn't decided what colour we're going to do. I've got samples here. He's like, I want this colour, I want this colour. I'm not surprised his cars are either black or yellow. So I hope you enjoy the chaos. It's going to be a really, 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 really busy week. So as you can see behind me, the Lamborghini isn't apart hardly at all. And uh, I asked Ishmael, I said, well, we kind of need this apart today. And he said, I have a friend at a body shop. He bring over his people and we, they'll take it apart. So according to him, uh, by the end of today, this car will have an army of people on it and just have it all completely taken apart. So we'll see what happens later today. Guys, I've just spent the last hour shopping in 45 degree heat Celsius for this. This is essentially a massive breaker bar for the center lock on the Lamborghini Aventura SV. This is damaged. Why is this damaged? Please never use impact guns on center locks. End on. Ready? Yeah. Right, you need to come and make sure it doesn't flick up. Easy. No. You need to put your foot on the brake. Someone needs to put their foot on the brake. Welcome to Castle, guys. You on? I think I did it better than Adam. <laughs> Like probably six months worth. Wait, like this this whole thing is like water? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying there's anything bad. We're just educating whilst we're here. I've never installed a driver before. This is like the blind leading the blinds. You're blind, I'm blind, we're all blind. He has no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> One of the things I wanted to touch on is training. People just assume that gets to travel around the world, train one of our customers in how to apply peatable paint, and that is it. Well, one thing I really love about the training is that we also get asked many times about how can we help them improve their workshop. In this instance here at Jet Automotive, they've just recently started the peatable paint side. New paint booth, they've got a compressor, but the few things that we recognized early on is that they didn't have sanding discs and some of the right paint guns and so on and so forth. So what I did is before I left the UK, I created a little care kit. We sent that out and it's arrived before we got here. Now we've arrived today and noticed that their compressor didn't have a dryer and there was loads of humidity. I mean, there's humidity here anyway, but the water in the system is ridiculous. We've got water in the compressor. Like how much? So what we've done is we've sat down, we've worked out what the right process should be for their airline systems. We've gone to the shop, advised them what to buy, and actually that's being installed as we speak. So just want to let you guys know that training isn't just training. There is an element of consultative behavior with regards to that as well. So we want to make sure that you guys don't just get training, but you get a service that helps you as a company grow and be as efficient as possible. Basically the way to drive here is intentionally try to get into an accident every five minutes and then you're driving correctly. Yeah, or just sort of undertake, overtake. Cut you know, off. Put your foot down. Yep, floor it. Yeah, that's, my only concern is the navigation and also the, uh, apparently it's the, the guys that aren't locals here are the ones to watch out for. And the street signs don't make any sense. Because <laughs> it's in Arabic, you don't know how to read Arabic? 
Oh, well, <laughs> thanks. Bit of a bit of a problem. You know, you can always just hop the curb if we don't oh, go like on did yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go off road. <laughs> oh, look, this oh. guy. Yeah, no, do you want to just maybe not? Just okay. There's no such thing as blinkers in Qatar. <laughs> 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 Professional race driving skill. Ex racing driver. <laughs> oh, we're on the wrong roads. <laughs> that was the wrong, that was the wrong fucking Google Maps. Google, we have problems. Okay, one thing I learned: always have your blinker on. Just just have it on constantly. Yeah. Look, I have driven in Thailand, which is quite vicious too. You need to think you're a racing driver the whole time. I am a racing driver. In your dreams, of course, I get it. <laughs> I've seen you drive. I don't. I don't. I remember the... you drove the Porsche, and I nearly died. I, I don't meet the weight requirements for most racing car drivers. <laughs> hey, listen, I didn't want to say anything, but... Right cleaner. Actually, this is like buying parts, like car parts. Where's the slow? No, no, the standard. It's like, it's hot. You're kidding in a toy shop. We have Spanish products here. Yes. Well, better than us. You've got to see. Can you give me the price of that? Yeah. $3.20? <laughs> I need your last price. <laughs> your last, last, last price. Two thousand. Keep it. <laughs> How about the th $8,000? I could Useless. I found, I found your 8,000 grit. It's right here. <laughs> That's 8,000 grit. Very minor late update. I finally got the guys working. Uh, mostly because I got rid of the car. These guys um, are getting stuff ready. I wanted to paint this evening, but I believe, yeah, it's 7.30. Uh, it's too late to start, but I'm gonna make some samples. So Adam will come in the booth. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have a new mixing room, kind of. So we're going to get the mixing bench in there, computer down. Shh, I don't even got the scales. Yeah, I'm going to come back. To I don't this. even, like, I'm not a painter, uh, and that's important. Let's cut. I, I don't know why. <laughs> finally made it. We're down to two. <laughs> we've got China Blue <laughs> and we've got Nardo Grey. I really like Nardo, um, China Blue. Obviously not Nardo Grey because every car that I've painted of ours, right Ad, has Nardo Grey. Over like four times I've used this color. This is really nice, okay. Um, and you can tell I'm a lot calmer. Why am I calmer, Adam? Why am I calmer? Find a nice cool spot in the shop. I've got air conditioning just on my face. It's the first time I'm not sweating. So I've calmed myself down for this chat. So anyway, we are getting a lot closer, all right? I think we're gonna end up with this, I think, but he's not sure, because his best friend has got this, and they love to copy each other. So I'm gonna wait until later to decide. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel and don't know what Clarity Coat is, I'm gonna keep it simple. We are the world's first removable paint system, and it pretty much is exactly what it sounds like. It's paint that you can peel off. It looks and feels like paint. You can sand it, you can polish it, you can put a ceramic coating over it, you can make it look like a Bentley or a Rolls Royce finish, or you can keep it factory. And of course, it protects your paint. So yes, it's like paint protection film on one side, where it's clear, or concept of vinyl, where you can change the color, except you use real automotive paint, which means you can have any color you like. So, that being said, there's my intro. You know what Clarity Coat is. Please follow us for more videos like this where Adam's gonna travel and follow me around the world. And again, I hope you enjoy the rest of the week because it's really gonna be chaotic. All right, that's enough about Clarity Coat. I've done rambling. The guys are downstairs, they need my help. I'm gonna go work. Ciao. Okay, so as you can see, we've got some of the Lambo parts. They are beautifully smooth and full of peelable base. Also friends. Roberto in the corner hey. uh, also helped to do this and he's done a fantastic job. But now what I'm going to do is I've got some white. I'm going to put some white over 
this kind of area because we took off the old SD logo and we're going to do something a little bit bespoke and custom. So I've got a very cool sort of pearly metallic white. So I'm going to lay that over here in a rough area, probably from here to here on both panels. And then we'll go upstairs, we'll create a stencil, bring that back down and overlay that, paint the color, which is, am I setting the color? Let's leave it a surprise. A color. And then I'll uh, pick those out afterwards. And Adam will show you that too. You know, Justin, I, I feel like vinyl would have just been easier to do. Do you funny, Adam? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All um, this trouble for just some painted graphics. Well, you know me, I like to make things um, complicated to myself. Uh -huh. That's not, that's not in the white. Uh, no. I'm not an expert, but I think that has to be in the white. Do you want to <laughs> see dinner this evening? <laughs> Would you like dinner tonight? <laughs> You're going to fight me? <laughs> Right now, I'll fight anybody that gets in my way. <laughs> like an alley cat. <laughs> <laughs> I said, if this doesn't work, I'm Ubering to the airport. I'm off, I'm off ski. Wait, I need to get my washing first. <laughs> Good because one hit wonder go for one time only. What are, you, what are you showing them? I'm showing them how to prepare the clear coat for wet sanding because Achilles here likes to polish or throw sand wet and dry. He's never used a sander. You haven't used a sander, no? And you only do it by hand, right? Only by hand. Okay. This? Mucho. <laughs> this is good. So what we're doing is we're going to show him how to open the clear coat. So by using a dry disc, it opens the clear coat. But with your, with your palm. Okay, hold it. Not on the edge, flat. Okay? Just kidding. <laughs> Stop, wiping, and then the next section. Okay, let me show you something. Okay, okay. sanding like this, there's no goose. Side to side, up and down. Okay, look. Side to side. Down. Quick update. Guys are downstairs putting the car back together. Now, instead of us walking around and showing what we've done, tonight, Adam has got some spots saved. Ishmael is being very kind and he needs to take the car out for some photos, although it's probably likely he's gonna come with us. 
Yeah, I don't think he's gonna let us take a star. Well, he's gonna let us take it, but he's gonna watch everything that we do. <laughs> um, and then You're not we'll... known for treating people's cars the best. I look after them. <laughs> I do donuts and drifting. <laughs> Um, and then what we do, we're going to stop somewhere and we'll get out and I will run you around the car and show you why we did it in the way that we did it and why we have chosen the other complementing colour. Just wait! I love it. <laughs> so anyway, um, enjoy, catch you later. I told you it was going to peel. Not only did it peel, it's only fresh, it's only a couple of days old. It peels, it's strong, and weak, it's too hot. Very strong. More importantly, there are no scratches on the original paint of the car. We did a full color change in three and a half weeks. We trained a team of four in all aspects of peeling your paint. The owner didn't believe that A, it would peel, and B, if we scratched it, it would protect. We proved him wrong. So as far as I'm concerned, that is a successful trading trip. Now, of course, if you like this video, do me a favor, very British, like and subscribe and hit the notification buttons.